my last video, I showed how to replace a switch. In that video, I said that I had a project coming up soon where I needed to completely pull this whole thing apart. This is that project. My Morningstar MC6 is uh, and has been the center component, the central component, uh, such a great part of my rig for a long time. And I am a bit of a sucker for punishment and I like making things uh, as useful as possible. So adding three switches across here, internally wired up to the expression output means that with one MIDI controller, I can have uh, so many functions. Unfortunately, I lost the video footage of me drilling this out and wiring it all up. Uh, but today I will show you what I've done uh, and try and give you a bit of an overview of how I did it. So that if you want to do it yourself, you can. Uh, in terms of the programming, one of the things that I wasn't really aware of uh, and probably should have thought about more so um, was these switches can't be a global feature. These switches, one, two, three, become G, H and I when you are uh, plugged in and set on a bank. And then when you bank across, they stay as G, H and I. I was hoping that I could set them as global buttons. Uh, and if Morningstar, if you're watching this, I know you guys are great with implementing different features that we ask for. The ability to set these as a global function for extra buttons would be so handy. Uh, at the moment I have um, different features per different bank, uh, but I would love to have one button as like a page flip and then be able to send a um, page turn message to my sheet music from these. That's pretty much what I wanted to use this for all the time. And what I ended up having to do was um, instead of using a page flip in the bank to get um, G H I J K L was use a bank jump. So using two banks instead of one and having six buttons here and then G and I being my page up and page down in my sheet music. Um, and this one being my page flip to go over when you page flip, then you've got G H and I here and it would be the same functions. So what I ended up doing was making this A to F on a bank and having I, no H, sorry, H be my bank jump to my next bank that has the other six functions that I would have wanted here and having this page down and page up on my sheet music on every bank. So if that works and gives me the exact same functionality, it just uses up more banks. Being able to have set uh, global functions would be really, really handy. So uh, if the guys from Morningstar are listening, that'd be a really cool option. I know I would use it. Um, I hope other people would use it, but um, yeah, just being able to have these set to do a function and never having to worry about um, page flipping and ending up having the same functions on your foot switches would be really handy. So the way I've done this, um, you've seen the inside of my one before and I've shown you how to take it apart. Um, disregard this, this was a mod that I wanted to do that didn't exactly work. Um, and I may get back to having a look at the way that I could do that, but that is for that power jack. Uh, I wanted to be able to USB in and uh, USB 5 volt out here, but it wasn't working. Sorry, 5 volt out here so that I could connect a um, USB to 9 volt adapter 
that I used to power some pedals and have, this was going to be a satellite board with MC6 volume pedal. I'm a left foot volume pedaler um, and a tuner on a wireless system so that this whole section could just go wherever I needed it to do. CME Woody Jack makes this wireless expression pedal, obviously wireless. Um, that was my plan. Uh, unfortunately, I could never get the USB to split power without causing issues. So that got put on the back burner. But you might be able to see through here, and I hope the camera can see that. Uh, there is enough space. We do have to have them almost completely protruding to make sure that there's enough room here to actually get the PCB in. And then what I've done here to wire it up is these jacks are wired um, to each other with the diodes. Uh, I should get the diodes. There's a PDF uh, or an image on the Morningstar website if you look for aux, auxiliary button um, wiring, you can find that fairly easily. Um, and essentially you wire all the grounds together tip goes to um, foot switch one ring goes to foot switch two and then from foot switch three yep <laughs> I'm doing that right um, you wire to the hot of both of these via one of those diodes to stop um, it just automatically as soon as you touch one of these it would ground everything if you didn't use a diode so that's how I've done that um, it's uh, quite fiddly to get it to work and uh, a lot of it in meant leaving some things loose putting it all back together and then tightening up here but as you can see they're pretty even they're dead straight I lined them up exactly or as close to exactly I think I set the inside the outside ones in just a fraction um, just to give enough clearance for the case on the side so that's how I have wired up that um, this has been super handy uh, I worship lead at church um, in a church where we set up and tear down on a sports center so we don't have a confidence monitor and um, I come from a church where we always had um, lyrics on screen somewhere. So chords wise, I'm normally fine, but lyrics I struggle with. Uh, I worship lead from acoustic guitar and band lead at the same time, um, as most worship leaders do. That's how our worship, worship team does it. We don't have an MD or a BL. We just have a worship leader that sort of makes the calls. Um, so it's it's just a lot for me to remember and I don't have the greatest memory. So being able to switch music, sheet music easy. Um, how do I stop this from sliding? Great question. Um, most of the time it's on my pedal board and the pedal board has plenty of space, surface area to stop that from going anywhere. Um, if it was just by itself, obviously it would slide. Um, but this is the wireless satellite board. Um, I can't remember which I wired it into. Doesn't matter, I'll work that out later. It must be expression one. Um, so it's quick kick. This is sliding a little bit, but it normally doesn't do that. And so I can either run USB or wireless MIDI and a um, portable battery bank is how I run this board when it's wireless. Um, or this is a satellite board that I drop onto my pedal board. Um, so I just don't have the Velcro on the bottom of it yet. Um, that's in my storage cage at home. So I've got to do that. Um, but I'm rejigging my whole pedal board at the moment. So there might be a video on that um, coming up. Uh, what I'm using at the moment just hasn't been working for me. Um, just getting a lot of latency. I've been using Helix Native Live and um, that was a, that's a whole other video. I think I might make a video on that and some of the issues that I've had running Helix Native as a live solution. 
uh, and what I'm moving towards in the future. Hopefully if I do um, end up doing a new board, I will make a video on that because that's what I like to do. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hopefully this has been helpful. If you want to do a mod like this, it's doable. Uh, it's tight, but it's doable. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to shoot me a comment uh, down below and I will do my best to answer. Thanks guys, bye.